All right, uh, let's look at the homework for problem number 11. All right, so we have some information given. Uh, it says that the function value at um, x equals negative 2 is negative 2. And the uh, left-hand limit uh, as x approaches negative 2 is 2, but the uh, right-hand limit is negative 2. All right, so let's pick the, uh, the correct picture here. All right, so let's uh, just focus on the first condition. All right, function value is negative 2 when x is uh, negative 2. All right, so if you go to negative 2, it looks like uh, this is going to give you a positive 2, so a is not the right one. And if b has the same problem, all right, and negative 2, then you're going to have a positive value. So when x is negative 2, so you have a dot there, so that's going to be negative 2. So this is promising. And the d is the same way that's promising. So it's going to be either uh, c or d, all right? So, and this says that the left-hand limit uh, at the negative 2 is 2, and the right-hand limit is negative 2. So if you're com if you're coming from the left hand side, the graph is heading toward positive 2. So C is doing that. And then coming from the right, it's going to negative 2. So C is probably the right one. But the D here, if you're coming from the left, uh, you can see that it's going to negative 2, which is uh, kind of violating the condition here. So D is not going to be it. So C is the one. All right, let's check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, so is f uh, of x uh, continuous at uh, x equals negative 2? All right, remember that the, for a function to be continuous at a point, uh, the limit value and the function value must be the same. And in this case, uh, at um, uh, x equals negative 2, uh, you can see that the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit uh, do not agree with each other, which means that the limit doesn't even exist there. Right? So therefore, it cannot be continuous. So answer is no. All right. So final check. All right. Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.